Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome to Every Tech Time. I am, am, I know it's been a few weeks, but, but well, you know, I've, I haven't really been. I I guess I I guess one of the reasons is because I haven't really had any ideas on what to do here, um, as to as per tutorials and stuff like that. So today I will do a video tutorial on how to create um, a Windows PowerShell script a PowerShell script file in in the Windows PowerShell ISE. So yeah, this is something a little different this time as as it's like an yeah, it's a new language that I'm doing um for this video and that's PowerShell from Microsoft. So so yeah, this is the the special IDE for making PowerShell scripts and and it has all these useful commands and and the and the shell right here, the console, and the and the text editor right here. So let's get started. So first, you should open up Windows PowerShell ISC if you have it installed on your computer, and it already has a blank file for you. It already it already provides a blank file for you, so you're ready to go when you open it up. All right, so now let's get started with with make with writing the script. So this is a script where I just do a a random file, a file directory and stuff like that. So this is just a sort of like a test script, I guess you could say. So first I'm going to type file root, add a dollar sign and type file root. Equals and then and then and then this is the parent directory symbol, the period and the slash in quotation marks. So now I'm going to press enter two times. You can press it as many as many times as you want, but I'll do two times just because why not. So next I'm going to type get child item file root add a hyphen and type filter and then add a period in inside to um, a, a, a multiplication signs space and a little slash press enter and type for for each object and then add curly braces press enter and now I'm going to do an if statement And then close this set of parentheses. Is and then in brackets I type system dot io dot directory info. Close the brackets and close the this entire set of parentheses. And then a curly set of curly braces. And now we're going to type expected resource in in a dollar sign equals get content file root. Slash now I'm going to type file set as my own directory and now file test and then this is the the result file file test dot expected dot result 
Now this is my own PowerShell script, so, so you don't have to do exactly what I do, but you can do what you want in your PowerShell script when you make one yourself. Um, just to be sure, just to be clear. Press enter. Now I'm going to type generated resource. This is a resource that's been generated generated by the expected source um, script. Again, I'm going to type git content file root slash file set slash file test. This is the 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 um the packaged file, the packed file. So it's file test dot result dot json. This is a json file, which is a special kind of um, JavaScript file, I believe. Now I'm going to press enter. Um, I did it two times just because that's my way of that's my kind of that's my style of coding in general. So I'm going to do another if statement inside of this if statement if statement if generated resource dash eq expected resource close this set of parentheses add curly braces now we're going to type remove item file root file test dot result dot json now press enter and just add two empty pr empty quotes leave that set of quotes empty press enter and add another set of quotes and type OK inside of them. Press enter and close this set of parentheses. And now we're going to do an else statement. So type else. And this is another, and this is something that's, this is an alternative way of this if statement, as you may know already, with if else statements. Inside, inside of this set of quotes, I'm going to type generated resource. Press enter and I'll type exit negative one. Close this set of parentheses for the else statement. And then close the parentheses for this if statement as we're done with the entire statement. and close this for each object loop and I'm gonna press enter and type and I'm gonna conclude the script with exit zero alright so now we're done so now I'm done making the making this PowerShell script so I'm gonna save it go to file and click save as or you can press control s on your keyboard your decision All right, so you can save it in whichever in whatever directory you want to save it in. And and of course, you should save it as a as a PowerShell script .ps1. I'm going to call this file set launcher .ps1 and click save. All right, so this is my my little PowerShell script, as you can see. Um, all of the code is in it, so that's good. Okay. All right, so that is how you create PowerShell scripts in in Windows PowerShell ISE, or in whatever IDE you want to use. 
Integrated Development Environment or Text Editor. So yeah. So if you like this video, then remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. That said, this is Every Tech Time, and I'll see you in the next one.